All right, hello everybody. It is just about one o'clock, so we will go ahead and get started. I want to thank you all for attending uh, today's webinar for Scholarship Chairs, our first one of the 2015-16 season. Um, I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Ann Strutz, and I am the Programs Relationship Associate here at the Elks National Foundation. So I work every day with our uh, scholarship programs and with our Elks Scholars and our wonderful volunteers like you. Um, before we get started with today's webinar um, about promoting the contests, I um, want to just touch on a few basic points about the webinar. Um, so first of all, if you're having any trouble hearing me, you can try turning up the volume on your speakers um, or you can type into the Q&A box on your dashboard. Um, if at any point you get disconnected during the webinar, you can um, click on the link in the email that was sent to you and re-enter the meeting. And then during the webinar, you can just sit back and listen, and I'll click through the slides of the presentation. You'll notice a few other things on your screen. You have a dashboard in the upper right-hand corner, and that has a Q&A box. So um, that's where you can type in any questions that you have during the webinar. Those questions will come directly to me and won't be seen by the group. Um, our webinar will last about 30 minutes, and then we'll have additional time following for questions. So feel free to submit a question at any time, but note that the questions will be answered following the presentation. Um, and then again, if we can't get to a question or if you need to leave early, you can always email us at scholarship at elks.org or give us a call and we'll be happy to answer your questions. And also please note that today's webinar is being recorded and will be posted online later today. So the reason we're all here um, is uh, the Elks National Foundation Scholarships. So today's webinar will focus on promoting um, the Most Valuable Student Contest in your community, but we'll also touch upon uh, promoting the Legacy Awards and the Emergency Educational Grants at your lodge. Um, both the Most Valuable Student and the Legacy Awards contests launched yesterday on September 1st, so both the Most Valuable Student and the Legacy Awards application are available now on the Elks National Foundation website. A few things to note about the Most Valuable Student Contest as you promote the scholarships. Uh, the Most Valuable Student Scholarship is open to all current high school seniors who are U.S. citizens, and the award amounts for the 2016 contest are shown on your screen. Um, the applications do advance through local, district, and state competitions, and then finally reach the national level. Um, then the exciting, uh, most exciting part um, is during the weekend of April 22nd to the 24th, the 20 top finalists will participate in the Leadership Weekend in Chicago. During that Leadership Weekend, they'll interview with a panel of national judges for um, two first place awards of $50,000, two second place awards of $40,000, and two third place awards of $30,000. And then the remaining 14 um, scholars who attend that Leadership Weekend will all leave with scholarships of $20,000. And then the 480 runners up, they will all receive um, scholarships of $4,000. So the Leadership Weekend is really a great way to promote the contest. Um, you know, it's exciting to mention that applicants could have this opportunity. Um, shown on your screen are Mark and Sarah, who were the top Most Valuable Student winners from last year. Um, so they are both starting out their freshman year with uh, $50,000 from the foundation um, to help them achieve their college dreams. Uh, so just a, a little bit more about the Leadership Weekend. Um, again, this is really important to promote when you're promoting the Most Valuable Student Contest, um, is be sure to tell applicants about the Leadership Weekend in Chicago. Um, you know, aside from the chance at a $20,000, $30,000, 40000 or $50,000 scholarship, um, they will also get to explore Chicago, they'll complete a service project together, they'll get to know each other, um, they'll learn more about the Elks. Um, this will be our third year hosting the Leadership Weekend. We've done it in the past two years, um, and the scholars just have such amazing things to say about the weekend and about getting to know this special group of 20 Elks scholars. Um, so really make sure you tell applicants about this awesome opportunity. So uh, the 2016 Most Valuable Student Application. Um, as in past years, there are no hard copies of the application. Um, 
the applicant must download the application from the Elks National Foundation website. The link where they can download the application is shown on your screen. Um, applicants will still print out a hard copy application and submit a hard copy application to your lodge, um, but again, there's no hard copy application that you can hand out to the applicants. Um, so the applications are due to the Elks Lodge nearest to the applicant's home by December 4th, 2015. So that is a Friday again this year. Um, so important, important date to know, December 4th is the deadline. So now we'll um, just walk through a few of the materials that were included in the scholarship materials packet. Um, as a reminder, those packets were mailed out to the lodge address to the attention of the secretary, and those went out um, in, in mid-August. So um, if you haven't received your packet yet, make sure you check with your lodge secretary to see if they have received it at the lodge address. Um, so the first item we'll talk about are the MVS fact cards. So in your packet, we provided 25 of these uh, fact cards. These, uh, this double-sided card tells the applicant how to download the application online. Um, so because there's no hard copy application, we've provided these cards um, sort of as a physical way that you can tell applicants about the application and how they can exactly um, download the application. Um, you'll see on the back of the card, um, there's a, spa a spot on the back um, that says Lodge Contact Information here. So um, this is a place where the scholarship chair can put their Lodge Contact Information by adhering the label. And we've provided a label template that you can download in the Scholarship Chair Only section of the website, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but again, these cards should be handed out to interested applicants or to guidance counselors um, who can then hand out these cards to um, interested applicants. Um, the next two items also deal with the Most Valuable Student Contest. So you can see um, on your screen we have the MVS poster and the MVS brochure. So these were also included in the packet. Um, both of these items should be used at the local high schools to get the word out to interested applicants. So um, you can provide these materials to the guidance counselor to um, hang up uh, at the local high school. And really the best way to do that is to set up a time to meet with the guidance counselor um, where you can talk to them a little bit more and then give them these materials. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about um, the guidance counselor specifically in a few minutes. Also um, contained in the packet was this brochure that's called uh, Scholarships for Elks Families. So while you're promoting that, the Most Valuable Student Contest, uh, remember to promote these other two scholarships that are specifically for Elks families. Um, the Legacy Awards are available to children or grandchildren of a living elk who joined the order on or before April 1st, 2013. So as I mentioned, the um, 2016 Legacy Awards application is now available online. Um, the applicant must complete the online application by Friday, January 23rd at noon central time. So you can use this brochure to promote uh, the Legacy Awards to any um, lodge members who might have a high school senior. Um, you know, if they're a parent or a grandparent of a high school senior, make sure they know about um, the scholarship opportunity. And then this brochure also covers the emergency educational grants. So um, the emergency educational grant application is available to children of deceased or totally disabled ELKS members. And the application is available by request from our office. It's available now and um, applicants can submit those anytime before October 31st of this year. Um, in addition, in your packet, we also provided the sheet that you see on your screen. It's a double-sided um, single sheet that has more information about the Legacy Awards and the Emergency Educational Grant applications. Um, so this sheet has the specific deadlines and then also two unique stories about two of our ELK scholars. So the first, um, on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see Angie Radhakarishnan and her father, um, and they kind of share a twist on a common Legacy Awards story. So Angie, um, her father got involved with the Nashua, New Hampshire Elks Lodge after Angie was attending spelling bees at the lodge. Um, so the lodge was kind of known in the community for hosting spelling bees, and she would go each year. So her father saw what great work the lodge was doing in the community and then ultimately joined the lodge 
Um, and then a few years later, Angie applied for and received uh, the Legacy Award. Um, so it's kind of a fun story. And we have a great um, short film about Angie and her father posted online that you can use to promote the Legacy Awards. Also, on the right-hand side of your screen, um, we featured Emergency Educational Grant recipient Haley Manning. Um, so Haley um, has a pretty powerful story about, about the um, Emergency Educational Grant. Her father passed away suddenly, um, and her and her mom were left wondering how they would pay for Haley's college education. She was in college at the time. Um, and after her father passed away, they went to the lodge, and an Elks member told them about the emergency educational grant application. So Haley applied and received um, $3,800 to help her finish out her senior year of college. Um, so we have a, a powerful story about Haley. Um, we have a film about her story on our website. So um, again, we ask that you share that film at the lodge to raise awareness about the emergency educational grant program. Um, so participation in this program has decreased over the past four years. So we need your help to spread the word about this important program. Um, if you know of a child in this situation, be sure that they know that this exists. Um, and then also just make sure that the lodge members in general know that this program is out there. Um, because if they ever do um, you know, fall on hard times or have a child in this situation, then they'll know about it. We also provided uh, this poster that you see on your screen now about the Legacy Awards. Um, so this is kind of a new um, initiative, but starting with the class of 2014, Legacy Scholars are now required to serve with the Elks at least once per year in order to receive their following year's scholarship funds. Um, so we've heard some wonderful stories from Elk Scholars who've served with their local lodges um, over the past year. Uh, you can read the quote on your screen is from um, one lodge ER who had a great experience serving with a legacy scholar. Um, and we keep hearing these stories over and over again. So this really allows Elk Scholars the chance to get to know Elks members on a more personal level and then encourages them to keep coming back to serve. Um, so we've provided this poster um, in your packet, so please hang this poster at your lodge and tell other members about this requirement. Um, obviously, it's pretty new, so not everyone knows that this um, is happening, um, but be sure to spread the word um, to lodge members so that they know they might see a Legacy Awards Scholar helping out at lodge events. And in addition, you also, as the scholarship chair, might be contacted by a legacy scholar um, to ask about you know, opportunities at your lodge that they can help serve with. And um, along those lines, we've also provided this sheet, um, another double-sided single sheet you can see on your screen. And this highlights the importance of engaging Elk Scholars in service. Um, one side of the sheet focuses on a few of our, our legacy scholars who've served with the Elks and what it meant to them. And then the opposite side of the sheet features our newest Elk Scholar opportunity, which are our Elk Scholar service trips. Um, hopefully you've seen us talk about this lately. Um, but we have three trips per year where Elk Scholars can embark on a week-long service trip in the name of the Elks. And our summer service trip just wrapped up. Um, some ENF staff and a group of Elk Scholars headed up to Manistique, Michigan to serve with Habitat for Humanity, Habitat for Humanity with a week. Um, so we were there for a week. Um, there was there is a wonderful recap film about the service trip on the website now. So please check that out. It gives you a great insight into um, kind of what the week was like, and um, it's a great way to promote it to lodge members um, and to any elk scholars that you know. Um, we have two more trips coming up in 2016. The winter trip will be traveling to Oakland, California uh, in January. And then the spring trip will be going to Washington, D.C. in March. So um, we'll have lots more um, news and, and fun things to share about those in the future. Um, but again, we've, we just really can't say enough how important service is to our scholars. Obviously, service is a, is a hallmark of 
our scholarship programs and all of our ELK scholars have been involved in service in high school. So um, anytime you get a chance to invite ELK scholars to serve with your lodge, take advantage of it. Uh, serving along side ELK scholars is the best way to forge lasting relationships with them and really it encourages them to join the order. So um, always keep that in the front of your mind and think about how you can engage ELK scholars in service at your lodge. And then finally um, we've provided this postcard um, in your packet. You can see the front of it on on the screen there. Um, but this postcard is promoting um, a few of our recent um, short films that we've put up on our website. Um, so we have lots and lots of films that you can use to promote scholarships to interested applicants and also to lodge members. So these are all posted on our YouTube page and on our website. Um, but I want to just touch on a few of the films um, that um, you know would be great for you to use. Um, before I do that, I want to um, I'll just navigate over to the website now and show you where you can find these films. So um, right now you can see I am on the homepage of the Elks National Foundation site. So this is just at elks.org/enf. I'm sure you've all been here before, uh, but you can see one of the news stories on your screen um, is this film fest uh, story on the lower half of the screen. Um, so you can click here to watch our latest films and this will take you to our films page. Um, so you can see there are um, a ton of films that we've recently come out with and as I mentioned these are all great ways to show lodge members and applicants um, really what we do and get them excited about um, some of the work that the foundation is doing. Um, so a few that I just want to mention that you should check out as scholarship chairs are um, Protect Their Families is the name of it. That's the emergency educational grant uh, film that I, I mentioned before. And then um, How Do You Spell Success is the Legacy Awards feature about Angie and her father that I mentioned earlier. There's a film called Engage, um, which is a short film featuring one of our Elks scholars, Macy Warburton, who recently joined the Elks. Um, so she talks about why it's so important to engage Elk scholars and how that can lead to them joining the order. Um, we also have several films from convention, including the introduction videos of our two top Most Valuable Student winners from last year. Um, and then we also have right at the top here, this Learn, Serve, Connect film is uh, the brand new film about the summer Elk Scholar service trip. And these are all just a few minutes long, so please, um, you know, right after this webinar, if you have a moment, um, navigate to this page and uh, check a few of these out because, um, you know, they really um, are a great way to promote what we're doing. All right, so, whoops, back to the presentation. Um, now that you have all of the tools um, for promotion, the tools and the materials to promote the contests, um, we want to talk about some promotion dues, so things that, um, you know, you can do to promote these contests in your community and at your local lodge. Um, so, as I mentioned, the first and most important thing you can do is meet with the high school guidance counselor. Um, the guidance counselors are really the key to getting the word out about scholarships to high school seniors. I mean, they meet with the high school seniors sometimes on a daily basis, um, and they're really in touch with the students who'll be, who will be applying for the scholarship. Um, just to demonstrate that, um, a little stat for you, last year 44% of applicants said that they heard about the Most Valuable Student Scholarship from their guidance counselor. So that's nearly half of our applicants found out about it from their guidance counselor. So it is um, very important for you to form relationships with the guidance counselor by arranging a time to visit them. So when you meet with them, be sure that they know how to download the MVS application from the website and be sure that they have your contact information so they know who to contact with questions. It's also important that they know when the lodge will be open to accept applications on uh, the day of the deadline. Um, so those are all great things to share with them. Um, also, when you're working with the guidance counselor, ask if they have a section of their website that's devoted to scholarships. They can post a link to, um, to the application on their website. 
Um, another great thing to ask them to do is to tweet or um, share the application on Facebook. Um, a lot of guidance counselors have their own Twitter and Facebook um, channels to share information with applicants, um, with, their, with their students, so be sure to have them share it on social media. And then when you meet with the guidance counselor, show them a few of those um, short films that I just shared with you. Um, so you can either give them the link to the video or even bring, um, bring a laptop or an iPad or a tablet with you and show them a few of the videos um, so that they really get a feel for um, you know, who the Elks are and who elk scholars are. You can also ask the guidance counselor if you can come uh, talk to the senior class about the MBS application. Um, another um, important thing to note is that, um, you know, really building a relationship with the guidance counselors is so important. Um, one of the stories that we like to tell here that kind of demonstrates this is one of our 2014 um, top most valuable student scholars, um, her name is Cecily. She almost didn't apply for the Most Valuable Student Scholarship because her guidance counselor told her that no one, uh, no one wins that scholarship. Um, so Cecily applied anyways, and she won a $30,000 scholarship from the foundation. Um, so you know that's, that really demonstrates how important it is to educate the guidance counselor on the scholarship and also um, to let them know about any local scholarships you have or state scholarships that students can also apply for. Um, in addition, to help promote uh, the scholarships, we have a 60-second scholarship PSA, um, which is available online and on our YouTube channel. Um, so it's sort of a general um, film that talks about um, our, our scholarships overall. So you can share that with your local TV stations or on your Facebook page on, on your website to get the word out about scholarships. And then another great way to promote the contest is to host an open house at your lodge. So you can invite potential applicants and their parents to your lodge for a little Elks hospitality. You can tell them about the contest and then answer any questions that they have. And then while you're doing that, you can also take some time to talk about the other good works that your lodge does in the community. Um, oftentimes for uh, scholarship applicants, this is their first time interacting with the Elks and learning about the Elks. So it's a great opportunity for you to share with the applicant and their parents what your lodge does in the community. And that leads us into the last point here, which is to leave a good impression. Um, so like I said, for most applicants and their parents, this is their first interaction with the Elks. So make it a good one. Um, if the applicants leave with a good experience, they'll want to get involved further. Um, so kind of keep the whole picture in mind here. Finally, we have some uh, promotion don'ts. So um, a few things not to do. Don't just drop off uh, the materials at the high school. So we covered a bunch of awesome materials that we've provided you with. And don't just leave those lying around the high school. Um, be sure you identify a specific person at the high school that you want to meet with, which is most oftentimes going to be the guidance counselor, and then schedule a time to meet with them. So you can leave the promotional materials with them after you've met and talked about the scholarship program. Um, but it's so much more important to meet face-to-face -face and share the message face-to-face -face than to just drop off a brochure. Um, you want to avoid mass mailing these materials um, to the offices. Um, those techniques are impersonal and they don't guarantee that the right person is going to receive the information. And again, then the guidance counselor doesn't really know, you know who the Elks are um, or who um, the Elks scholars are. Um, so think about any time that you've gotten a flyer in the mail or an unsolicited email in your inbox. How often do you follow up with the sender? It's probably not very often. So adding that personal touch and meeting face-to-face -face makes all the difference. Um, and then don't go it alone. So while you're the main person in charge of promoting the scholarship contest in the community, um, be sure to ask others to help get the word out. So involve other ELKS members, like your hoop shoot director, the drug awareness program chair, chair the ENF chair, um, you know, your grants uh, coordinator. Ask them to help promote the scholarships as well. Be sure that members know a few key facts about the scholarship programs and have them uh, spread the word. 
And then finally, don't forget the big picture. Um, so I, I touched upon this a little bit in the last slide, um, but getting the, the logistics out about the scholarship contest is the most important, um, but don't lose sight of the big picture. Make sure the guidance counselor and the potential applicants know what being an ELK scholar means and who the ELKs are. So if a student receives a scholarship, they'll join a huge network of other scholars and they'll have Elks family members all across the country. You know, we, we promote that message a lot um, that we're part of an Elks family. Um, so use that language and, and tell people that this is more than just a scholarship. Um, it's becoming an Elks scholar uh, means becoming a part of the Elks family. So this is your chance to share a little bit about how great the Elks are. Um, and then finally, I mentioned at the beginning that we have this scholarship chair only section of the website. Um, so you can see a screenshot of it on your screen there. But uh, please remember that all these promotional materials um, are available online in PDF form. So if you need to email um, you know, these to somebody or take a look at them again or print off extra copies, um, they can all be found on the scholarship chair section of the website. The link is posted up on your screen. In addition, um, this site will be very useful um, in the future because it hosts all of the um, MVS scoring and judging materials. So um, you'll definitely want to visit this site, take a look at the documents, and get familiar with it. All right, that wraps up uh, the presentation, but we'll take any questions that you have. So please go ahead and type in any questions into the Q&A box on your screen. Again, those questions will come to me and they won't be seen by the group. Um, I just wanna mention again that this webinar um, was recorded and that re recording will be posted um, in the scholarship chair section of the website later today. I also want to mention that we've started sending out weekly scholarship chair updates uh, via email. Um, those started last week and will continue throughout the contest. Um, these emails offer just quick, informative um, you know, information uh, with a reminder, a tip, advice for you as the scholarship chair. Um, so it's really important that you uh, make sure that we have your correct email address on file. We communicate mostly by email, um, so make sure that you're getting those emails, and if you're not, um, please just contact our office to let us know, um, and we can update your contact information. Our phone number and our email address are up on your screen, so if you need anything, um, have any questions, please give us a call. Um, so I see uh, just one question here. Um, it says, is the PSA broadcast ready? Um, and, and yes, it should be. Um, if you have questions about what sort of format your local news station needs it in, um, I would recommend asking them. Um, and then if, if you find that we don't have that format for you, um, just give us a call and we can um, try to get it to you in a different format. Um, but it should be ready to go. Um, you can either put the file onto a flash drive and, and give it to them or send them the link to the YouTube uh, video. Um, if you have further questions about that or how to share the videos, um, just let us know. Um, all right, if you have any other questions, please go ahead and type them in. Um, but that will wrap it up for today. Uh, we will have um, upcoming webinars. We'll have, we'll have one about um, once a month. Um, the next ones will focus on how to prepare for um, the deadline day, how to score the applications. We'll have one about engaging ELK scholars in service. Um, so lots of great information um, coming your way. So again, be sure to check your email from us. Um, that's where all the information will be. Um, but again, thank you for attending today. Um, please go out there and spread the word about ENF scholarships.